Hey guys, this is Auto Odometer, and I want to show you my impressions and what I think of this uh, Wi Fi slash Bluetooth scanner. So, this can be used for iOS uh, devices, and I have an iPhone. So, they sent me this Wi Fi scanner, and I was given this scanner for free. Now, my first impressions of this um, were not too great. I was just kind of annoyed that Amazon slapped a sticker over top of the QR code. So, at first, I didn't know exactly what app to download. So I had to get back on Amazon and they actually had a little picture of what apps you can download. I think maybe there should be some instructions in the box uh, to let you know at least what the app is going to look like. That, now this scanner can hook up to various uh, different apps and it looks like from their picture here on Amazon it can hook up to about four or five different apps. And also it was kind of confusing. It looks like this Wi-Fi scanner is only used for iOS devices, but in some various places they have that it can be used for Android as well. However, for just $20, I think it's a pretty good scanner compared to some of the other scanners that are handheld that go for $40, $50, or $60. This is one of the cheapest Bluetooth slash Wi-Fi scanners I've seen out there. Now I want to show you some of the features of this scanner. For myself, I downloaded the EOBD Facile app. Now there are some paid features to this app, however I'm just going to show you some of the free features. The paid features have a bl either a blue lock or a red lock on them. Or if you want more usability for this app, you can pay $18 or $36 for the basic or full version. In the end, that would put the total cost of the app to about $40 to $60. So let's go ahead and connect our app to our Wi-Fi scanner. So in the top left corner of this app, you see a Wi-Fi symbol, and you also see a symbol that looks like it's the electrical connection end to the scanner. Once you have the scanner connected to your app, these things will highlight green. So let's go ahead and input our scanner as well as turn on the Wi-Fi to be able to connect the app to the scanner. The first time you open your app, it's going to tell you to accept some policy in terms of use. Go ahead and accept that and then it's also going to tell you that you need an appropriate Wi-Fi or Bluetooth scanner. Now this is where you actually have to turn your Wi-Fi on in the settings option of your phone. The Wi-Fi option is going to show Wi-Fi OBD2. Go ahead and connect to that Wi-Fi option. Now when you're back in the app, you have to press the top left car icon that says connection. A few options will show up and I'm going to choose the Wi-Fi option, the ELM327 Wi-Fi because that's the type of scanner that I have. Go ahead and click your scanner and then press continue. Then you have to choose which make of vehicle that you have. This is my 1999 Toyota 4Runner, so I'm going to choose Toyota. It's also going to ask you which choice of calculators you want to use to scan. I selected all and then pressed OK. You can see in the top left corner that the Wi-Fi is connected, but we're still trying to connect to the actual Bluetooth scanner. After about one to two minutes, it's going to go through a couple of menu options and then it's going to fully connect to your scanner. Okay, now we're fully connected. Let's go ahead and click the diagnostic button and see what it gives us. So you can see it has a bunch of different menu options here and we'll just start at the top. Let's go ahead and check out the number of diagnostic trouble codes. And as expected, there's zero trouble codes. Well, I don't have a check engine light. There's also a couple other things that you can do. You can see that there's a uh, list of confirmed trouble codes, there's freeze frames, an oxygen sensor, uh, your total overall system. And you can see if you click on something like freeze frame or something that has a red or blue lock on it, it's going to ask you to buy a license. Let's go ahead and back out and go into measures. There's a couple different things that you can measure while the system is running. And the free option, it shows you some various options like this coolant temperature, things like engine speed. If I rev the engine up, you'll see that the engine speed is going to go up to what matches my RPM monitor. You can see that I'm sitting still, I'm going zero miles per hour. There's uh, things like intake air temperature, your mass air flow sensor, uh, pounds per minute. And we can also scroll down here and see a couple other things. Things like your absolute throttle position, sensor, oxygen sensors, your even your battery voltage there all the way at the bottom. You can also make a custom list as well. Let's go ahead and go to graphs and it looks like there's four separate areas that you can 
add graphs to to measure things in real time. I'm just going through here and clicking some of the buttons just to see some of the features and it looks like you can add various measurements to these graphs. It looks like you also have a GPS but I'm not going to disclose my exact location. I'm going to back out of this check your performance it looks like it can check your 0 to 60 your 30 to 70 your eighth mile your quarter mile and it looks like you have to pay for those features it looks also looks like you can have some records as well if you click on the ECU tab it looks like it can go between separate EC units in your car if you have that option and on this Toyota it looks like you can choose between your onboard diagnostics ECU and your engine ECU let's back out and go ahead and go to the settings and there's not really much here you uh, you can change the name of your uh, Wi-Fi scanner if you'd like away from that ELM 327 it also you can also change the units of uh, the reporting options if you'd like I'll just keep it in standard or Imperial so there's the free features of a Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth OBD2 scanner now leave a comment letting me know if this was all worth $20 I'll leave a link in the description of where you can purchase one. If you found that video helpful, leave a like, and if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.